register an accrued expense, you can easily do so from the purchasing application. We're going to go to purchase orders and we'll create a new purchase order. And we'll just select vendor one again. And for this example, let's say that we're purchasing um, some consulting services. And I'll create a new product on the fly just for this example. And let's say it's a service that we're purchasing and we'll just set, um, we'll just leave that blank. And we'll set here, maybe we purchased 1,000 hours at $100 an hour. Now in this case, let's say that it's January 28th and we want to accrue this expense, but we've not yet received the bill from our vendor, but we want to accurately display it on our profit and loss statement for this financial month or quarter or year. In order to do that, we can easily go to our action icon at the top of our screen and create an accrued expense entry. All we're going to do is select a journal, which is going to default to our miscellaneous operations here. We can select our accrual account, which maybe it is um, bills to receive, which I have as a current liability. We have this amount here. We have the date. So we maybe want to post it at the end of our financial year, and um, we're going to reverse it at the first of the month. So basically what this allows us to do is if we want to close out our financial quarter or, or month or financial year, whatever the case might be, and we want to have this expense displayed on our profit and loss statement as well as our balance sheet for our um, accruals, we can select the date here, which is going to get posted, and we can select the reversal date. So what that's going to do is automatically post this bill on this date and then reverse it on the first of the month just to clear it out. That way, when we actually get the bill in, everything is as normal as we looked at already for accounts payable, but we get the added benefit of accurately displaying it on our financial statements. So here we can just click create entry and what I'll do, uh, we can just leave that. But basically we're gonna create this entry here and that's going to create two journal entries. One for uh, 1, 1, 2024, that's the accounting date. This is the accrued expense entry. And here we have the accrued expense entry that got posted at the end of 2023 and reversed on the first of the uh, 1, 1, 24. And based on those accounting dates, which are both in the past, this automatically got posted. Um, so basically they cancel each other out um, because of the dates that I selected. But just keep in mind, if we want to create an accrued journal entry or rather accrued expense entry, we can do so right from our action icon here. So that's all you really need to know. Um, just go to the action accrued expense entry and generate that. Now I can act as normal and create my bill or create a bill in accounting and match it to this PO when I receive the bill in from our consulting services that we purchased.